morning, good morning, good morning. You guys must still be sleeping. I don't see you fishing here at this beautiful gully at Ingwe Beach, St. Lucia Estuary, South Africa. This is what I'm talking about when I talk about the estuary beaches has risen in height. St. Lucia Estuary beaches has risen in height. They're higher than they was. Mangalisa is having an investment summit at Sibaya Casino in March. That's not in the area. According to the NEMA Act, we have to be able to reach your meetings. But anyway, it's not going to change the fact that you want to do hard surface development in a fragile uh, environment and some serious environmental impact assessments will need to be done. I hope you also notify your investors at the summit about that. Things that the billionaires that want to come and um, overdevelop our beautiful, beautiful ecology, environment, is um, one, we won't allow you, you to use DDT again in our wetland system. Andrew Lumas got away with it once. Now we're going to sue for criminal charges if it's done again. Two, you will have to generate your own electricity. We're not going to put pylons up over the bridge at St. Lucia Town Estuary to supply you with electricity. Three, you will have to put up a recycling plant next to your hotel because we, St. Lucia Estuary ratepayers, is not going to pay for your refuse removal. Four, Matuba water plant <laughs> cannot supply you with water. Um, it's way, way, way over demand, on demand at the moment and probably will be for the next 20 to 30 years. So you'll have to put up a desalinization plant or something similar to get your water somewhere else. It won't come from a tuba municipality. And not because I say so, it's a fact. There's not av available for you. And that's the four points I can think about now. Oh, five, sewage. You're not going to pump it to our sewage farm because our sewage farm currently drains into the estuary. We won't allow yours as well. Got it? Thank you. As Ra rises behind, from behind the house of Poseidon, starting on his westward journey across the mountain of the dragon, I will be spending this beautiful day not on the beach. It's going to be hot as hell. Paieti and Kozi. Good morning, His Majesty. Allow me a couple of minutes of your valuable time. I wanted to write a script and get all the pronouns correct and all the salutations correct, but the script doesn't come from the heart. I want to get this video, this message to come from my heart. Your Majesty, we don't need to invade the sacred hunting grounds and burial grounds of the Zulu nation for the Zulu to come to their full financial right. We just need to manage the system to its full potential. Therefore, I ask you to consider getting into conservation issues to save this heritage for the prosperity of our children. Conditions here at Mapailan Bay is extremely favorable. The wind is slightly Southeasterly, so when you fish in the bay, you fish behind the dune. And look at the water. I can't get over the sunrise today. This is beautiful. Even with the wind picking up, 
the bay is fishable. But there's nobody here. You guys don't want to fish. Tedious task of maintenance. Um, yes, even in the film photography industry, we've got maintenance. I have to clear my USB sticks so that I've got place to download the memory cards to do the video editing. Um, remember, I don't do video editing on a computer. I do it on a mobile device. So the computer I purely use at the moment for storage space. The i7 is standing back at home. That is to do the documentary editing. Since Eskim has <laughs> forced me off the grid, I can't run the i7 here in St. Lucia. I don't have enough solar panels. I'm still looking for solar panels. So right now, for the next hour or two, I'm just going to download um, video footage and photographs onto the backup hard drive, which will also be running out of space pretty soon. When two worlds collide, a cicada beetle visiting me while I download photos and videos of cicada beetles onto my laptop. Incredible. Still very much alive and healthy. Look what I have found to show you guys. This is the exoskeleton of a cicada beetle. You hear that beetle in the back now, ground? That makes that sound that sounds like your ears are ringing. This is the exoskeleton. I found it in the tree here in the park in St. Lucia Estuary. Amazing what you can find if you just open your eyes and look for beautiful things.